Face ID not working, move iPhone a little lower or higher. Here we will introduce three different repair tools to fix the problem. Take apart the phone and take out the front camera assembly. Connect the dot projector flex cable with the three repair programmers directly. And we will know immediately whether the dot projector flex cable is normal or not. Notes, the JSID programmer requires official authorization. The repair solution of JC and I2C is to burn data of the original dot projector flex cable onto a new dot projector flex cable. While the repair solution of Lubin is complicated, you need to put the phone into recovery mode. Connect the repair programmer to computer. Then Perl unbind the encryption chip on the original dot projector module. From the phone with the help of the software. Replace the original encryption chip and the capacitor on the module. And then Perl bind the new encryption chip to the phone. A grinding tool is needed in this step for the three repair solutions. Grind the bottom bracket of the dot projector flex cable first. Then separate the crystal from the flex cable carefully with a pry knife. Take out the dot projector flex cable carefully. Continue to take down the MOSFET with a pry knife. Connect pin 2 and pin 3 of the MOSFET by jumping a wire. With JC and I2C. All we need to do is to solder the dot projector module onto a new dot projector flex cable. While for Lubin, this can be really difficult. In addition to the whole MOSFET thing, we also need to replace the encryption chip and the capacitor on the dot projector module. And before replacing the encryption chip with a new one, we have to solder a connecting FPC. What's more, if the connecting FPC hasn't been soldered well, you might get stuck in pseudo-soldering or bridging. Once the encryption chip and the capacitor have been soldered properly, put the phone into recovery mode. Connect the repair programmer to computer. Then Perl bind the encryption chip to the phone with the help of the software. We can test by connecting the dot projector flex cable with the repair programmer. Once we have confirmed that the dot projector flex cable has been fixed, glue the crystal to the dot project flex cable carefully. Assemble the phone and test.
Face ID setup can be completed successfully.